morning. Um, it's the start of a new vlog. Y'all, I, last time I saw y'all, I forgot to tell you that we went to this restaurant after going to the zoo. And, um, I just have a hair on me. We went to this restaurant after, we went to this restaurant after going to the zoo, after going to the zoo called Humboldt. Such a nice restaurant and uh, I was telling a friend who I was with, I was like, yeah, I feel like we're kind of underdressed for this place, but it was really, really nice. The food was like bomb. I, obviously the people that we went with were great, hilarious. It was a really, really fun night. Um, and the person who managed our table was just like so lovely. She had the best recommendations, uh, very accommodating and just like was just overall just really nice. Um, and attributed to the lovely experience that we had last night at Humboldt. But I had never gone to that restaurant before and I definitely want to go back. They had duck tacos that I was like, yo, I got to try these. And they were delicious, absolutely delicious. They also had like lettuce wraps. They had um, oysters, uh, octopus. They had lamb. They had this, uh, like, lemon pasta linguine that was vegan. I was like, wow, that looks really great. I mean, the food was just like, the amount of options that you had were just chef's kiss. It was wonderful. But anyways, I'm going to go to the gym, and I'll see y'all after. But I thought I would start a new vlog. Um, but yeah, I forgot to mention that we had gone to that restaurant after the zoo, which was really nice. And also the time that we went to the zoo, it was $5, cinco dólares to go. Um, we went at 5 p.m. and I think that's like why it cost $5 because it was like, there's not a lot going on with everything. Um, animals are starting to go to sleep chill out and also the amount of people are also not as much and it wasn't as hot it was yeah it was really nice um and a really good deal to go so anyways i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna go work out and i'll see y'all later <sighs> all right just got back from the gym finished washing up now i'm gonna get ready for the day I have been slacking on doing this one thing that helps me when waking up in the morning is when I wake up, get out of bed immediately. Well, not get out of bed immediately, but don't fall back asleep. Because I find that when I fall back asleep and like sleep for an extra 15, 30 minutes, whatever, I am more exhausted throughout my day and that is just not what I want. Mmm, this is actually a really good match for me. Wow. Thanks, Kalina. I'm using this uh, tinted, it's by Kinlo. Uh, golden Ray sunscreen, but it's a tinted mineral sunscreen. Yeah, breathable for formula, ideal for active days. Benefits are that it contains sustainably source safflower, safflower oil, glycerin, jojoba, green tea, and niacinamide. And niacinamide helps combat hyperpigmentation. Stay golden, exo Naomi. And the active ingredient that it has is zinc oxide. But yeah, it like matches me okay, um, which I didn't think it would, but you just, you never know, you know what I mean? And I'm not one to like really apply things with my fingers, but I haven't washed my brushes 
And so, yeah, I need to like wash them before I try and use them. Wash my is a pretty good match. Like, right? That looks great. Going with a little bit of concealer. Kind of brighten up. I mean, I'm not really going out today, so like, I wasn't expecting it to do anything major for me, but it's working really great. Anyways, I also haven't worn makeup in a really long time, like several months. I look very like shiny, but it's because the stuff needs to take some time to dry down. It looks fine, honestly. Okay, it's about Time for me to start work. Yeah, my skin looks glowy. And I have literally no filter on. Like, truly, this is how my skin looks. <laughs> how I sounded just now is very interesting. Um, but yeah, I have to start working a little bit. Uh, my first meeting of the day is not till 10.15. But uh, yeah, we're doing another weekly vlog i can't get over how my skin looks with this my skin really loves like a mineral sunscreen more than a chemical sunscreen it just like my skin does better anyways i'm gonna get breakfast ready i think i'm just gonna do rice and eggs and i'm gonna read uh more of chubba noah's book born a crime it's really good, I'm liking it a lot so far. And then also, I am gonna do a little bit of planning this morning for some trips and days that I have scheduled off in like a month or so because I, yeah, kind of like wanna get some appointments scheduled. Also, I'm watching my friend's cat still and uh, she's really wanting my attention. So I'm gonna go do that. So I'm just having some eggs and rice with some sesame oil and coconut aminos. And then I have my little bowl of strawberries that has some date sugar on it. It's literally just dried dates that are cut up into like really small cubes. And yeah, you can get it at Whole Foods, Sprouts, uh, natural grocers, like those type stores. So yeah. I'm really trying to curb my sweet tooth and I'm trying to do that by having more fruit, like real fruit, instead of just getting ice cream and stuff. So, so far it's been good. Just trying to curb the amount of like added sugars, you know, but hey, date sugar, more natural. I feel like it's better. But yeah, this is my breakfast. Hey yo. <laughs> Hi. So I'm just working at my couch, on my couch in the living room, but uh, I'm very excited because the client that I've been telling y'all about for a little bit, who is our overseas client, we are done with the small releases and we're heading into a longer project. And so I'm just so excited to not do, to no longer be doing small updates and to go into doing a long-term project that will have a larger update and yeah really just like slow things down because things have been kind of like fast but i've learned a lot it's been great but it has been a little bit stressful i will say the least on that but um i have about a half an hour until my last meeting of the day i'm actually going to go pick up a chair for my friend who is moving which is kind of sad um 
she's getting rid of her stuff in her apartment. She's like leaving at the end of this week. And so she asked a bunch of us and was like, hey, do y'all want this stuff? I'm getting rid of it slash selling it. And so I'm getting a chair. So my work from home setup is definitely gonna get a little bit of an upgrade today, which is nice because it's not that my chair is uncomfortable. It's just not an ergonomic chair. And to be able to have like my back just in a better position and like armrest, ugh, sounds so good. I plan on getting a standing desk soon, but I need to save up for it because they are not cheap. They're not cheap items to get. How you doing? Doing okay? Gonna turn on the light over here. Hi. You okay? All right, as promised, it's kind of hard to see. There you go, you can kind of see it. So I got a new chair and she also gave me this like uh, shelving unit with baskets included along with like a few other um, knickknacks and stuff. But I think I had mentioned I was planning on getting like another metal shelving unit similar to the one that I have over there and now I don't have to because I have this so I'm not sure if I'll keep it vertical or horizontal I think horizontal will be nice but because I'm cat sitting right now I don't want to put it horizontal in this area until I move Rue's stuff out the way um who is giving me so much love and affection right now she's giving me all the leg rubs Aren't you, Rue? Thank you. She's honestly the cutest little cat. Um, oh, you're gonna go inside. I don't think you can fit in there. So yeah, got that chair, um, really nice. I just, I have these like pillows from the couch. And so I've always had it on the previous chair that I had, but now I just keep it um kind of there for some added cushion i don't think i'll need it but yeah it's a free chair free you know little console area not console shelving unit maybe i'll take one of these out so she can kind of like hide in here if she wanted to she's for sure gonna go in there <laughs> another little area that she can <laughs> just look at her she's so curious makes me want a cat but if I get a cat I would want a hairless one you know but Rue is making me think about getting a cat just like her all right Hold on. You can kind of see it like, okay here, but I put it on its side. I think I like this. I'm going to get a hook to put on the side here so I can hang my backpack there. Um, I'm gonna get like a little male carrier slash pen holder, you know, knickknacks holder so I can put it there. I have a plug-in behind here so I can have my candle warmer here. And then obviously here is the chair. The chair. Um, and yeah, I plan on getting a bigger uh, desk soon because I have that small, you know, foldable table there to kind of extend. But it'd be nice to just have like a bigger section because you can kind of see like my monitor kind of hangs off um, this side here so it's not really ideal and then also like I, I need to do better with the court situation because it's honestly terrible but um I mean living rooms looking nice and clean um, and also like I'm really happy with this section because now like Anytime I come in, I just like drop stuff here 
and instead I, I'd rather just drop it there um, and have it on that little console so that this area can kind of remain clear and I can just have like candle burning. Um, I don't buy like mango a lot, but it would, you know, kind of be here. I would also keep my umbrella over there. I just have like some knickknacks because I'm actually going to head out to go to Target and y'all are going to come with me. But yeah, kitchen's kind of looking pretty clean, which is nice. But yeah, I'm excited to kind of keep this area clear. Oh man, I just found out some really sad news at work. It's like making me want to cry. Wow. I didn't think I would cry, but anyways, I'm gonna, oh gosh. Okay. Everything is like fine with me at work. It's just yeah, I just found out some sad news um, around work that don't necessarily involve me. Like, I'm fine, but it's still sad and a bit rough. But um, yeah, went to Target, got some items. I bought too many candles, <laughs> aka three. Um, as y'all saw and yeah tonight I'm actually gonna go see I'm gonna go to Alamo Draft House with Melanie we're gonna go watch a movie we haven't hung out in a bit um, we we're hanging out like every week we had this like scheduled thing but she's working on very exciting things and by the time this comes out like things will be revealed on her social media, but she has uh, her Instagram, which, all right. So this is the Instagram, Dwell in Delight. She has like, it's basically like florals. Um, she does like flower subscriptions. She does garden gatherings. So she'll do like a devotional and provide snacks if you want um and like host the events like where you want to host it it's really really cool what she's doing and she has like a few other things in the works that i'm not gonna like by the time this is out it will be it will be revealed but like follow her it's dwell and delight floral on instagram and she does really really great work um she's pretty sustainable she chooses like really like high quality stems for her floral arrangements like she's not skimping on you so the price that you're paying is like worth it because the flowers are just gonna last you a long time and yeah I'm just like really excited for her so she's been working on stuff so we've kind of like chilled a bit on hanging out every week so that she could have time to kind of work on her business help it grow do what she needs to do but I'm just so proud of her and um yeah I'm just very excited for her but anyways we're gonna go to Alamo Draft House and watch a movie she and my grandma her and my grandma are basically my movie buddies like growing up my grandma and I went to the movies all the time like that was what we did in our free time and to like hang out get out the house it was also easy and cheap especially on a tuesday get those matinee showings you know and so mel and i do that as well we go on tuesdays <laughs> and we get the matinee showings um 
But yeah, we're going to Alamo Draft House and we're going to watch uh, a movie. It is a comedy. <laughs> it looks hilarious. I'm so excited to watch it. And I freaking love Alamo Draft House. If you haven't been, I highly recommend. The fact that like you can order food and it gets brought up to you while you watch your movie. <sighs> Y'all, it's so great. So yeah, I'm gonna like treat myself today and have some food from Alamo Draft House. And yeah, um, yeah, it's like so interesting how we can hold space for both like very exciting and wonderful things that are happening in people's lives and also like things that are incredibly sad and hard um, at the same time. And just like the complexity of who we are as people is just, it's a beautiful thing. Um, it doesn't make it like super easy, but it does hopefully make it more manageable, maybe not manageable, but hopefully it makes the burden easier knowing that like we are all able to hold space for hard things and for soft things and um it kind of reminds me to kind of hold the heavy things lightly um because good days are always ahead so yeah from like hearing a very sad thing at work happen to celebrating my friend and like rooting for her. I mean, I'm rooting for everyone all around, but yeah, like we can hold space for both. We are capable of doing that. So anyways, uh, that might've just been out of left field, but that's just kind of what I was thinking um, of like, yeah, I went from this to this, but I, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see y'all at Alamo Draft House. Y'all, the movie that we saw, <laughs> we read the synopsis for it, but it was way different than what we were expecting. A lot of shocking things happened. It was hilarious, but also chaotic. <laughs> we left the theater just like, what did we just watch? Oh, never a dull moment. Truly never a dull moment, but we survived. We survived that movie. Just wow. Wow. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. But I had the vegan chocolate chip cookies from Alamo Draft House. Those hit every single time. They're so good. So, if you ever go there, try them. Y'all, the worst thing that could have happened, happened. This is the only scenario in which I would prefer it to be larger, but a tiny spider was on the ceiling in my bedroom. I tried to kill it. I missed three times. It got on my clothes. I don't know if I killed it or shook it out or what, but I ended up, you know, washing my clothes and now they're in the dryer <laughs> completely changed but yeah it's it was like so so tiny it was so little and I I hated that 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 happened and I even like vacuumed my room like it could still be alive I don't know if I actually killed it but my skin is crawling thinking about it and also being in my room do I feel safe in my own home? No, I don't. No, I don't. But anyways, um, meetings have gone well. Officially done with meetings for the day. Now I'm gonna go run some errands. I'm gonna go to Costco and Target. Get the things that I need to get. But oh my gosh. I really hate the fact that I don't know if it's dead or not. 
And like, I know that we need spiders. Like, I get it. I truly do. But like, I'm afraid. So like, I'm a logical person. I can be rationalized with, but when it comes to spiders, I'm irrational. And if that's my flaw, that's my flaw. And I'm okay with it. Because there's plenty of more spiders. Um, if they do go extinct, I understand like that can be very huge on the ecosystems. But, you know, I'm trying not to think about that right now with the one tiny spider that I did kill. But know that if uh, there are spiders in my home, your girl is trying to get rid of them. It's also like the one downside for me of living by myself is that I have to try to skill, kill spiders. I'm just like, y'all, like, can I not live by myself anymore so I can have someone do this for me? Because... I hate it. I hate it. Also, if I'm like over exposed, it's because I'm by the window and it's very bright. Because otherwise, see, perfect lighting. Anyways, I'm gonna go and try not to stress. <laughs> but I don't like being in here. My skin is crawling. I really hate that. But it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. Y'all, the Red Plague has officially visited me. I'm dying. I was like on a one-on-one -on -one with my boss and the entire time like the pain was just getting worse and worse and worse. To the point where I had to cancel a meeting with a client because I'm in so much pain I took a Midol to help. And it's like starting to kick in, but it's still very, very painful. I just need to lie on the couch. And it'd be nice if I could like have ice cream or something sweet, but I don't, I literally just had like a smoothie and like jam on toast with eggs. So like I, I have sweets, but oh my God. Gosh, I'm in so much pain. I hate the red plague. That's what I call mine. I call her the red plague because she plagues me. She really be messing with your girl. So I am heating up water so that I can put it in my water bottle and just lay on the couch. Oh, I mean, I'm glad that today and tomorrow are really chill and I have a long weekend, but it's also just like, I'm dying. Oh, it's literally the worst. Y'all, this hot water bottle that I bought in London all those years ago, which I'll reference the London vlogs for y'all to watch. That was such a good trip. Um, I really liked that trip. That was so fun. Even though we were kind of tired due to the jet lag and the time of year that we went was interesting. We didn't get a lot of daylight, but it was still like seeing london was really nice being able to walk around it was cold but it was still really nice because i got to do it with my grandma but 
this water bottle is probably the best purchase that I've made. I have used it for every, for lots of things. Like in the winter, it gets cold in Colorado. So I'll like heat up water, put this in my bed to kind of warm up my bed so that my bed is nice and cozy before I get in. I use it when I'm on the red plague or the red plague is on me. Um, yeah, like it is literally saving my life right now and making the pain more manageable because y'all even though it's making the pain more manageable the pain is terrible I kind of want to try those um, period pain simulators because every woman that I've seen try it is always just like, yeah, this is not it. And I think it's because those simulators are very surface level in terms of pain. Whereas like when you're actually on your menstrual cycle, your period, the pain is not at the surface, it is deeper, layers deep. And that is what hurts, is that it's like, yeah, like it's layers deep. It's inside, it's not outside. Although it can have like some external pain, but the pain is just like, it's deep pain. It's deep cramps, if that makes sense to those who don't have like a menstrual cycle or have menstruation, like it's deep, it's not topical. And I think a lot of people think of it as like a topical thing, but truly like some people who have their periods can't, like their mood swings and all of this other stuff, like the pain is can be like even way worse for some people especially if you have endometriosis um that is insufferable um apparently i've never had endometriosis so i can't like speak to that but those who have endometriosis like the pain is is like comparable apparently to childbirth i've heard people say so not my words but yeah, I'm just like, well, I can't even imagine that on a consistent, semi-consistent basis. Anyways, I might end up getting like ice cream because the amount of pain. I'm glad that I'm getting my nails done. So it's like something happy to look forward to today. But oh my gosh, I'm dying. Uh, Like, it'd be nice if I could cry. I literally can't. It's like, yeah, I'm glad that I'm working from the couch. Sitting at my desk was the absolute worst. I'm probably gonna lay down. And like work a little bit. I need to take a break, honestly. So my doll has kicked in. It's just taken an hour to kick in. Sometimes pain medication just takes a while, but I'm doing better. I'm still gonna work from the couch uh, for the remainder of the day until I have to leave for my nail appointments. I'm gonna try to go for like pastel -y colors. But yeah, I have a package that I need to pick up, but I also have a delivery that should be happening today. 
So I'm just like, should I go twice or should I go once? I think y'all know I'm gonna go once because efficiency is key and I'm lazy. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that the pain is like subsided enough so I don't feel like I'm dying anymore. Y'all, cramps are truly the worst. I still want to get ice cream, but I need to eat the food that I have in my fridge. One of them being salad kits because I don't want that to go bad. I have these salmon burgers that I got from Costco, so I'm gonna put those in the air fryer and have that for lunch with my salad kit. That's the easiest way for me to have salad is just buy a salad kit. It has all the ingredients there. Put it in a bowl, mix it up, add the salmon burger, and I'm set. You know what I mean? Like, easy meal. Quick and easy meal. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I'll check in with y'all at the uh, nail appointment. Sorry, y'all. I had something on my mind that I was going to say because I have my nail appointment. I'm dog sitting starting tomorrow for the weekend. I have therapy tomorrow. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what I was going to say. Mm. oh yeah i need to call my grandma because she just facetimed me and i missed her call um but oh we just like finished booking everything for new york so that is exciting like all of that is like set in stone and done uh yeah, I just got off the phone with her, but I, I need to call her back actually because she might have further details on those calls. And work is picking up, which is really nice because I was in a slow season, but we've had some uh, some changes. We, um, our portfolios, my portfolio at work is expanding and so is everybody else's on the team. Um, we have a new business, which is really, really nice. Because um, normally during this time of year, it is slow. But it's also like my first year. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I'm getting my hair done in like two weeks. Your girl is no longer going to have this dark brown. It looks black, but it's actually a dark brown. I went with two, not one B, I went with two. Um, but I'm getting my hair done in like two weeks. I honestly wish I was getting my hair done now, but I'm not. I'm getting it done at the end of this month and we're only halfway through this month. So I have two weeks left of this hair technically a week because I'm gonna like take this out have my hair out for a week so my hair can breathe and then your girl is going back silver I'm not doing this like dark hair although it's like not bad it's just I feel like silver is more me and I have gotten used to the color like this color but silver is just more me so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do that I'm trying to think of what else yeah <laughs> Of course. Mm. <coughs> Do you want to take a picture? Yes. Okay, no rush. Whenever you get a chance. Oh. 
모르겠다. 안녕히 주무실 수 있을지. 네가 언제 조증이 와가지고 또 덮칠지 모르니까. 자 그럼. So I just finished therapy, which went really well. Yeah, I feel like... I never look forward to therapy. But then afterwards, I'm like, okay, that went well. And I think it's just because I kind of get in my head about things. And overthink things or yeah just go down rabbit holes that are not good and then I'm like okay there's grace in not doing the homework there's grace in doing the homework there is grace so hold 
holds room for that. But anyways, um, I just devoured a mango because I realized after making my smoothie, I typically add in fresh mango into it. But I was like, not thinking and decided to just have it. So I just finished having mango and then, um, yeah, I'm going to head out in a little bit to go dog sit because I'm dog sitting this weekend. Um, okay. You have to go dog sit in a couple hours, but yeah, I am feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I will say the past few weeks, this month I have made a change to get back on it with my diet and with the gym and drinking water. Today has not been a good day of drinking water so far. I can tell because I can feel a headache coming on, but I'm going to fill my water bottle in a second with water and some lemon juice and a little bit of ice and I'm gonna chug that water girl because I am thirsty but uh yeah I have like recommitted to myself and I'm feeling really good that I've recommitted to myself and that I'm showing up for myself in this way and I just feel so much better in my own skin of doing what I said I was going to do and keeping words to myself. Like keeping my own word matters the most. And I feel like I break my word to myself a lot. And so when I keep my word, I feel so great all around. So I'm trying to practice that more, but also to have more grace and just not like self-sabotage because like self-sabotage is just huge in life for so many people where you're like, I want to do this and I'm going to do this. And then you just, yeah, don't do it. So it can be challenging, but just trying to have grace for myself and knowing that like maybe it's not self-sabotage at moments. Like sometimes it definitely is, but maybe it's just the fact that like this is what I needed. Like I'm in the space to like take rest. So like rest and kind of do what you want because you have been working hard. And I think I just kind of like get really, I don't know. I just like put so much pressure on myself of like, you need to work hard all the time and not take any breaks. And it's like, no, you've taken a break for, the past several weeks have been like a little bit more chill and I've been riding that wave and yeah, I'm just like, take a, take a beat. Just, just rest. Don't put that pressure on yourself. It's okay. So yeah, those are all probably really confusing, but just learning to be gentle with myself. That's all. Yeah, I won't be able to walk them until seven so I'm gonna get there chill for a little bit let them out let them eat and then I'm gonna head to a coffee shop nearby and get some work done um, yeah